Welcome to the iRacing Rough Cup here at Twin Ring Motegi GP course. It's quite a long track, so I think I uh, take a little while to learn it. Um, eighth on the grid, I am, sorry. Green, green, green! Where I think he was just letting everyone go. Oh, the car right, still there. Hold your line. Oh, I could have been more aggressive then, I think. But I wasn't too sure. Car right. Oh. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Let's so take it easy on the first lap. Don't want first gear. So if you're watching on Twitch and you normally watch me on a Saturday morning, apologise. Real life got in the way and I wasn't able to do it. That's the fact. I wasn't coping with this set of corners very well. Which I'm not sure I'm coping with now, but I'm doing my best. Two minutes, 14.51. Put that on so you can see if I'm getting any better or any worse during the course of the race. We just had a clean first lap, which is always good. Something to build upon. Oh. Go left. Wow. Car number five just got the braking wrong into this corner, something I've done plenty of times. I just about managed to miss him, and he just about managed to miss that inside barrier. But uh, he got going with no damage, he just lost a couple of spots. So, two minute or just under two minute laps are my sort of like goal. None of this one minute fifty fours and stuff that people are doing. Just got to remember to break early enough for corners like this one coming up. I think a lot of people break a lot later there. And I think I lose a lot of time. I do not feel in control around that corner. Okay, this guy has really caught me up. Car right. Two minutes. One point one two three. Stay on the left. He 
think he might have started from the pits or something. Missed that apex. Carry more speed into this corner as well, I think. You got a lot to wheel up then. That's a bit better lap time. That's about what I'm averaging, I think, for uh, a run that I'm not pushing too, too hard. Too late then. Oh, not first. wasn't a great corner either. Uh, Dyson up front. Go right. Well, it's lost it. Car number four and car number ten just behind have been putting each other under a lot of pressure. Um, and the car number four just got on the gas too hard, I think. And sort of saved it, but then lost it again. And he came around. Did he get a slight tap against that barrier? Maybe the slightest of touches. But... Um, no damage done but having to reverse back onto the track cost him an awful a lot of, of time you 
got a slow car on the right. You got a slow car on the right. So must be recovering from a spin or something. Car number eight had just overtaken car number nine for third place, and maybe the excitement just got a bit too much for him, and he lost the back end on here. Um, just spun onto the grass, got going again, no real harm done, certainly no damage done, but uh, was able to get going again before he lost any more places. As always gets going in front of me, before I get a chance to overtake. Let's see if he's done any damage. Car behind is a car that is a lap down. One, he had some fifty, connection nine, issues earlier. Right side. Let him go. There he goes. Clear. He's probably going to unlap himself. He'll come around and overtake me. We'll see. It's a long lap actually. Oh. Whoa. Broke a bit too late there. Lost quite a lot of time there. Could have been worse, so. Hopefully we're over halfway now. Slow car ahead. Twelve minutes remaining. Minute three point two three six. I've got enough fuel for twelve more laps, so I've overfilled. I think. Ooh, make the corner. Oh, drift wide. Okay. Maybe the tyres are past their best. Sounds like an excuse really after just six laps. Take all the excuses I can get.
Didn't quite get that right. Not too, too bad. Two minutes, zero point one five five. Car stop on the left. Oh, there's a go right. Whoa. Whew. Car number eight has a problem on this uh, pin and uh, spins it right around. And uh, as I come by after this car, I uh, wasn't sure exactly how to get around him. I wasn't sure whether he was coming back into track. Uh, not, and I lost the back end and somehow just about missed him. And uh, we were both able to carry on without any damage. Oh, I lost the back end a little bit then. Was that a classic case of looked at the incident and headed straight for it? So we take the next few corners a little bit careful because uh, it did spin up the back tyres pretty badly then. Better. Two minutes, two point eight three seven. You're in fifth. Fifth, it's not going to last. Eight and a half minutes to go. Anyone to offer me fifth right now, I would snap their hand off. Not so good, that one. One minute, fifty-nine point three, one.
Still think there's a big spin in me somewhere. Still not good. One minute fifty nine point two two five. giving it away Too much pressure, cracked under pressure. He's really close now. Two minutes, one point one eight oh, six. Yeah. Car stop on the right. Car number nine was in third place when uh, he made a bit of a mess of turn one. Twice. But he still got going before we had a chance to get past him. Oh, I've done it in the left same side. place. Clear on the left. God, I couldn't have made it easier for him, could I? Let's make sure we keep sixth then. be ready to pick up any anything if these two get together
So, setup, I'm using the baseline setup with reduced tyre pressures and move the brake balance back a bunch. Next season, this is going to be a fixed setup series, so don't have to worry about Two setups. One point one five three. Oh, You've got a slow car on the right. Car stopped on the right. Go Whoa. left. Wow, we're back in uh, in the hunt then. Nearly ripped the wheel off the desk. Car number eight really doesn't enjoy this corner, and uh, uh, spun it there again. Again, I just about managed to uh, avoid him. I should be used to seeing him there by now. But now I've got my fifth place back. We've just got to be smooth for uh, the rest of this lap and the next lap, I think. You've got about five laps of fuel left. So when's this leader taking that white flag? There's the white flag. We can lose three seconds and still make it. <laughs> Minute 1.329. You're back in fifth. The picture and picture in view is the driver behind me from his cockpit view. That means fairly early braking for these problematic corners. Right. Lost a good half second there, but that's fine. I don't mind losing another half second here. Ah, oh, made up time. Let's not overstress. He's going for it though. Should do it now. Good ride. 
You've got a slow car on the left. Phew! There's the flag, it's over. Great job, you did really well. So I was more than happy with my fifth place there. I think I finished higher than I probably deserved to finish. But uh, I mostly kept it on the road. And when I did go off the road, it was just a, just a little bit over and didn't spin. So uh, I was really pleased with uh, with that. I um, gained 21 I rating points. Lost 0 0.10 of my safety rating, but I got plenty of spare there. So uh, I was uh, glad to get uh, 48 championship points points um, table in the middle at the bottom there you can see that I have done seven races so far uh, you do uh, eight of the 12 uh, races um, in the 12 week schedule um, the, the, the four weeks then become additional four weeks become uh, drop weeks so you drop your lowest score at the moment my lowest score was my Sonoma race where I got t just 25 points um, followed by Sebring which I got 27 points so uh, both very disappointing races uh, unfortunately because I've only got two more races to go that's Suzuka and, uh, and Monza I will only be able to drop one of those weeks so it will be nice to get at least rid of the 25 points Sonoma that means I'll only have one bad race hopefully hopefully if Suzuka and Monza do well so uh, that currently at the time I'm going to press um, with just the rest of the day to go for this championship week um, I'm in 8th place in Division 7 um, still a long way off the top let's say top 4 um, positions uh, but 5th place might be doable if I get the next 2 weeks do well possibly but as you see there, um, I do only do one race per week. So if it goes badly, then uh, that's the end of it. That's the points um, in the can, good or bad. Uh, so that's uh, so that puts a bit of extra pressure on each week for me. So as I say, next week it will be at Suzuka. I um, have raced there before in uh, a couple of other cars um, including the rough cup last season so um, have a look at the link at the bottom there to have a look at that race and if you want to see how i got on at twin ring motegi last season um, have a look at the one just above that that was week nine and week ten of last season's races and uh, i think the twin ring motegi was a night race uh, on that occasion so uh, interesting to go and have a look at that if you are follow me on twitch i'm hopefully to do these races at uh, 10:45 or um, 12.45 um, every single Saturday morning so join me then on Twitch if not keep an eye on Twitter and I'll update you as uh, whether I'm going to be able to do them or not or, uh, or just enjoy them on YouTube where you get the replays afterwards as well so uh, thanks very much for watching uh, do leave me a like it really helps uh, a comment at least to say hello would be nice as well uh, but if you haven't already do make sure you subscribe so thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a like. If you want to say anything about the video, please put something in the comments. Uh, if you want to have a look at some of the other videos I'm doing this season, uh, there is the truck races on ovals and the rough cup from last season and this season on uh, on road courses. Also, the bottom left, you see my road to the 12 hours of Sebring, where I try to learn how to be able to do a endurance race. So uh, please check those out if you're interested. If you haven't already, please subscribe and feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Thanks for watching.